Thermodynamics is the branch of engineering that deals with thermal energy transfers involving work done. The first law of thermodynamics is an application of the principle of conservation of energy. During an interaction between a system and its surroundings, now what do we mean by interaction? By interaction we mean an energy transfer, either thermally or by doing work. A system is the name given to a body or collection of body, uh, bodies that is under study. In this case, it will be considered to be the inside of this piston and the gas molecules inside it. A closed system is a system defined by boundary walls through which the energy transfers can take place. In this case, the system defined by the dotted lines and the green shaped area has an internal energy U. The internal energy of the system is the sum of the kinetic and the potential energy that its molecules have. An exchange of energy, either thermally or by doing work, leads to a change in the internal energy of the system. The system can interact with its surroundings by exchanging thermal energy. We call this thermal energy transfer. Thermal energy transfers are positive when given to the system and negative when given out or removed from the system. You will remember that thermal energy transfers or heat flows can only take place if there is a temperature difference between the system and the surroundings. Energy can also be exchanged with the system by doing work. Delta W is the amount of work that is done onto the system or transferred to the system. Work can be done mechanically on the system if a force displaces uh, its point of application and causes the system to compress. The force times the distance is the work done. And this work done can either be calculated by multiplying the force through the distance that it moved through, compressing the system, or multiplying the pressure inside the system by the change in volume that is caused by moving the piston inwards or outwards. So when the external work done is given to the system, that is positive, and when the system does work against the surroundings, that is negative work done. So in summary, the first law of thermodynamics states that any changes in internal energy are equal to the thermal energy transferred to the system plus the work done on the system. Now remember that the mechanical work done on the system can also be found by multiplying the pressure of the system times the volume change caused to the system or simply the force times the distance. In relation to the system interacting with the surroundings, we need to understand what is meant by isothermal, isovolumetric, and adiabatic. An isothermal process is an energy exchange that has resulted in no temperature change in the system. An isovolumetric process is a thermodynamic process or an energy exchange that has resulted in no volume change of the system. And since there was no volume change, therefore, there was no work done on the system. Or therefore, no work done by the system. And an adiabatic process is a thermodynamic process in which no heat is gained or lost by the system. In other words, there is no delta Q. Delta Q is zero. There is nothing entering the system and nothing leaving the system. All changes in internal energy are due to work done.